Um, over the next couple of days, we're just hoping to find water and find a good place to camp out or set up a base camp while we're there in October. And then, obviously, it'll be good if we can find, get eyes on a bunch of elk and deer. Supposedly, there's a beast running around up there that we want to go find. So, a really good friend of ours, Bo, who will be with us this fall, told us that a good source tells them there is a 200 plus incher up there roaming around. So we're gonna go, we're gonna try to find him. Sitting here, trucks off, hanging out. Don't really know what's going on. Construction or something. because I was on a rock because uh, I donated my sleeping pad or we traded to <laughs> their sleeping bags. <laughs> Horrible idea. close to our base camp maybe just like a quarter mile and as soon as we sat down started seeing elk so there's like a little prepubescent bull down there thinks he's a boss keeps squeaking every now and then you probably hear him hold on and then other than that we have seen maybe there's probably three or four little spikes down there and then 45 plus cows a bunch of calves Pretty decent little herd right here. We're about to pack up and go try to find some deer. So, <clears throat> right after we got done glassing up those elk this morning, actually right towards the tail end of glassing up the elk this morning, we saw a mature doe just hustling across about 200 feet above the, where the elk were at, just hustling in the trees, just getting finding a place to bed. Our goal was, after finding those elk was to head to a waypoint that we had previously determined, just try to glass another area in hopes to find some, some deer. And in the process of hiking over there, uh, we rolled up on, um, well, the first thing we saw was just one, was it a doe? No, it was a, it was the first a, one was a buck. It was a buck. Um, just walking across in the timber across this prairie, um, just feeding slowly, didn't see us. We're probably only 200 yards from it. And then another one, and then another one, and then another one, um, about five. And I mean, they were all pretty, They're pretty decent, good, yeah. decent bugs. They were all, Two that I, I mean, I'm trigger happy, but two that I would shoot for sure. And then one was a really tall, heavy three point, and one was a nice four by four. And uh, watched them for a few minutes. They fed along. I don't even 
if they noticed us, they didn't care, and they just fed down the hill and out of sight. We went back, looped back around, kind of back on track to where we were headed, and then deer started popping out again um, on the hill. Maybe, I don't know, those were close, 100 yards or less. Yeah, know. about 100 yards. Yeah, just clustered up. There was one at first that we could see, and then and again two, three. One of them was pretty nice. Like, what do you think? 160 probably, yeah, maybe, maybe max 170. Yeah. Shooter though, I mean, I, I would shoot, shoot him. For sure, <laughs> but you know, I freaking kill those forkies. <laughs> there were a couple nice three points that we saw in the first group. All were, yeah, they were, I mean, they were good bucks. There wasn't any that were like. Like embarrassing. Yeah. Yeah. Which like, is I was just exciting. Any of them have been okay with it. Yeah, no, no embarrassing ones. Just exciting. Got our hopes up. We traveled. How far? Well, 10, <sighs> we, 14 hours yesterday. Well, through the night, drove here. So it's just exciting to see it pay off and actually get into some bucks. We will be elk and deer hunting here in October, but it's both Mark and I are. Probably a little more excited to mule deer hunt here anyway in the Frank Church. So it's good to get into some nice bucks. We'll see ya. Yeah. See how it pays off. We ran into um, about a total of probably about 20, 25 deer. Um, 10 bucks. Biggest, the best ones we saw were probably 160, maybe pushing 170. We didn't get, we didn't get like the best look at, at some of the bigger ones, but overall, like it was, it, it was definitely a success. We're gonna, I think we're gonna go in and annihilate it in October. But I think the fact that we were able to pinpoint exactly where those bucks were um, or are, we're gonna be able to go in and just lay the hammer, even though we're, we have six days to do it, I think, I mean, we could probably do it the first couple of days, depending on what we're trying to hold out for. I personally, I mean, I, I'm not, I'm not a picky hunter. <laughs> I'll shoot. I don't care. Well, my ultimate goal for the hunt is, is really just to, to, to fill my tag. It's in any buck unit. The Frank Church is known for having really big, nasty bucks. So ideally it would be awesome to shoot, you know, 170, 180 inch buck, but I'm not gonna hold myself to a minimum standard. Four point, I would say, is my minimum, but as far as inches, I mean, I would shoot a 150 inch buck in there. Just my reason mainly because Frank, Mr. Frank Church has, has I've been skunked by him the last two years, so I just wanna go in and show him who's boss and show Frank that I can fill a tag <laughs> and just get it done. We have a, 13 hour drive ahead of us. It's about 6.30 and we're just gonna crush it. Drive all through the night, get back to Denver so we can get back Sunday, chill a little bit before we go back to work on Monday.